Okay, so tell me a little bit about Disability Rights Wisconsin and how it came about. Yes, yeah, so Disability Rights Wisconsin is the uh, designated um, federal protection and advocacy agency for the state of Wisconsin um, and has been for uh, over 40 years now. Um, it came about as part of the national um, movement towards uh, deinstitutionalization for people with disabilities and just uh, the disability rights movement in general. Um, so yeah, in the 70s, uh, the federal government decided that, um, that the state should have the designated advocacy agency um, to advance uh, these types of issues. And then, uh, yeah, dis disability rights was um, created to serve that role in Wisconsin. Mm hmm. Yeah, that, that's awesome. So like, uh, what kinds of services do you provide? So here at Disability Rights Wisconsin, um, we try to provide a number of different services through our um, various programs that we have at our agency. Um, for instance, we of course, to the core mission of protection and advocacy, um, meaning that uh, we have attorneys and advocates and uh, specialists that deal with, um, for instance, school issues or employment discrimination issues or um, overseeing uh, the DVR here in Wisconsin, which is our Department of Vocational Rehab um, for people with disabilities. Um, we have a victim advocacy project, which assists people with disabilities that are a victim of crime in sort of navigating the, um, the court process or you know, trying to get some form of, of justice um, aside from those areas, uh, we also have um, a program, it's called the Family, Family Care and IRIS Ombudsman Program, which deals with long-term care in our state. So helping people advocate for their needs in the long-term care system, so either you know, fighting to get the benefit they might need or fighting to keep benefits that are being cut or that, that just have issues um, navigating that system. Uh, we we um, provide all number of services there. Um, just trying to make sure we don't leave anything out. Um, oh, we also do a a bunch of um, voting rights out outreach and advocacy to make sure that um, people with disabilities in Wisconsin are um, able to exercise their constitutional right to vote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that yeah, pretty cool stuff. So, like, my next question here is, how do you go about like making people with disabilities sure that? Um, yeah, let me try that again. How do you go about making sure that people with disabilities, you know, are fully, you know, independent, you know, what sorts of tools and strategies do you use to achieve that goal? Um, yeah, so, I mean, it, I guess we do that in a, a number of different ways that just kind of varies with the, the program and the situation that the um, individual is in. So for instance, you know, advocating uh, for a child in the school system to have full access 
to the uh, disability services or, you know, not be secluded and restrained in the school system um, or, you know, in the, the long-term care field, um, making sure people have the services and supports that they need in order to um, live in the most, um, or at least restrictive setting um, that that they're able to. So from a lot of people, that means, you know, residing in their own communities, um, you know, with their family, friends, you know, community supports um, so that they can better, you know, be a member of, of that community. Um, you know, in the case of employment discrimination or housing discrimination issues, you know, that, that again goes back to, um, you know, trying to get people the support and the ability to, you know, either work in their communities or, you know, live in the um, housing that, that they desire. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, that's great. Um, what my next question here is how, what are the key players or stakeholders that, you know, you're um, involved with to make sure that people with disabilities, you know, mm -hmm. are um, independent? Yeah, so we deal with um, lots of different stakeholders uh, throughout the state, you know, um, you know on the long term care side of things. Um, one of the big ones is DHS as our State Department of Health Services, which kind of oversees many of those programs. Um, in addition to that, um, you know, the school systems, the, the county uh, governments that, that um, you know, can, can provide services or, or provide access to services. Um, the, the, the court system, either, you know, that it's someone with a disability is either going through or a part of, um, as I mentioned before, the DVR, the Department of the Vocational Rehab. Um, and then above all, the uh, people with disabilities themselves and their uh, friends, family, and advocates, um, I think are part of the biggest stakeholders that, that we um, deal with. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, next question here is, what impact does uh, Disability Rights Wisconsin have on the disability community in particular? Well, over uh, the 40 plus years that our agency has been around, um, I think we've had a very significant impact um, on people throughout our state. You know, whether it's um, winning employment discrimination cases where some, you know, people were wrongly fired from their jobs due to their disabilities. Um, or, you know, kids in schools being denied the disability services so that they can learn and participate in the uh, the educational process with their peers um, or, you know, just a daily basis of how we advocate for people in the long-term care programs so that they can remain, you know, engaged in their home communities and don't have to, you know, live in a, a nursing home or some kind of state facility that you know they're warehoused apart from the, their communities and family and friends. Um, you know, countless people throughout the state have been uh, able to live fuller and better lives um, due to the work of 
of all of our staff. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Lastly, how can you guys as an organization, you know, make a difference in people's lives and, you know what I mean, like create an inclusive and sort of welcoming world for people with disabilities? Yeah, so I mean, it, it's a uh, it's a constant struggle, but you know, there's, there's always more work to do. Um, whether, you know, it's um, fighting against cuts to the long-term care system or but even more importantly, the advocating for the increased funding, um, you know, to increase the number of providers or caregivers or residential options or um, any number of services and supports uh, for people to remain as independent as possible. Um, you know, like I said, this people in the school system, uh, you know, trying to help, help kids get the best education that they can and um, also to be, you know, a part of, of their classes with their own peers, um, you know, rather than, you know, kind of shuffled away into a corner somewhere, just bringing people with disabilities more and more to the um, forefront and just the equal parts of, of our society with, with everyone else, which is what um, everyone deserves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's important. 